very surprised when you ask people to move forward. You work with students. They never move forward. Yeah, and great to be uh, kicking things off this afternoon in these kind of bite-sized things. It can only get better. Um, I think they'll be on first because I need to go over and be with the Scottish Baptist women uh, and their afternoon tea uh, straight away. So the other speakers, please don't be offended if I slip out at some point. Um, but I actually have to put me on first so it just gets better afterwards. Um, so, best seller, least read. The Bible is still a bestseller around the world. There is still a crying need for more Bibles. Um, as I said yesterday, in China, we cannot keep up with the growth of the church. Um, and even though we have the largest printing press in the world in China, uh, because of the uh, government's restrictions uh, around the way that church happens, there is a limit and the number of uh, Bibles that can be printed for China each year. But the wonderful thing is that that printing press in China is also feeding the church in Africa. Just, don't you just love the way God works? You know, I mean, he confounds our ideas so often, doesn't he? Um, so around the world there is this great um, need for Bibles. And I tell you that my colleague in Syria, um, their um, operation focuses around a bookshop in Aleppo. So for the last handful of years or so, they have been operating under severe uh, pressure. I phoned George every now and again, I said, George, how are you? He says, we're alive and we're working. He also says, we have never known such a demand for Bibles. Because when people start to see hope disappear, they know that they need to find hope and there is something in them that sends them to the Christians and to the Bible. Uh, we know that um, in scripture itself there are various things that talk about scripture, so from Deuteronomy, these commands that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children, talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. The Lord says to us, have my word all around you. Have it where it will impact you. Uh, in Hebrews chapter 4 it says the word of God is alive and active. One of the things I love about the Bible, and there's lots of things I love about the Bible, but uh, one of the things is that it's not a book like any other book. And I hope you experience that. I mean, other books, you kind of read them and, you know, they might make a bit of an impact. They make you think, you get a wee bit of a reaction going. The Bible is different. When we come to Scripture with an open mind and an open heart and an expectation that we will encounter God, then we find that the Bible reads us as we read the Bible. It is a book through which we can be transformed because it is God's word breathed out by him. Here in Scotland, we used to be known as the land of the book. Um, so it would be pretty much common for every home to have a Bible. Very often it was there in the kitchen and family devotions would be part of Scottish cultural life. Whoa, how different we are today. Um, I reckon that Bible has moved from the kitchen table to a bookcase in the lounge. It's gone from there to a cupboard in the bedroom and from there to a box in the loft. And we need to get the Bible from the loft to the lap again in Scotland. Let me wow you with a few statistics. It, this is Bible reading in Scottish churches. Okay? So this is not just cultural stuff. This is our culture. This is the church in Scotland. One in seven Christians read the Bible daily. One in seven. 
Two in seven read the Bible weekly. Two in seven read the Bible monthly uh, to yearly, somewhere between monthly and yearly. And one in seven read the Bible less than yearly, and one in seven never read the Bible. Conclusion, we're not doing very well with the Bible in our churches. Now, I'm here amongst Baptists, and Baptists must be doing better. Probably. But still not great. And if Scotland is going to be reached with the gospel, then we as Christians in Scotland need to reconnect with the Lord through his word. We need to bring the Bible back to be absolutely central into our life as individuals and as congregations uh, and just corporately together. We need to recapture Scotland being the land of the book. Why? Because the Bible will always lead us to Jesus. We don't study it to worship it. We don't worship the Bible. We worship the God of the Bible. And we believe that, G that the Bible will always lead us to Jesus. Another little statistic about our family life. 12% only of evangelical families read the Bible together every day. 12% only. 30% of evangelical parents have never read Bible stories to their children. 30% have never read Bible stories to their children. Story of a church down in the West Coast uh, over just over the last uh, couple of years. A woman, uh, not a church attender, not a Christian, she was babysitting for her niece, just a wee toddler. And putting the uh, wee girl to bed, she said, what story would you like? And she said, I want a story from the Bible. So the aunt, very um, obligingly, took a story from the Bible, read it to her niece, and that spoke to the aunt. God reached her through the children's Bible story. She turned up at church the following week and said, I've become a Christian. Uh, her husband wasn't a Christian, and you know, several months later, exactly the same thing happened to her husband. So there's now a couple down in the West Coast who are followers of Jesus because a toddler said, I want a Bible story. And that gives us a picture of what is possible intergenerationally in our churches. We need to be people who are willing to gather round the Bible with a variety of ages and create safe spaces. Safe spaces where people can ask their questions. I don't know about you, um, I'm of an age that, you know, sometimes um, the daily quiet time was, does anybody remember the IVP book, Search the Scriptures? It's something you get, I know, but it's a generational thing, isn't it, you know? And, but it felt like three exam questions before your breakfast. And you always felt as though, you know, there was a question and there was definitely a right answer. You know, and unless you could kind of find the right answer. And many of our Bible aids, Bible study aids, are, are, they're a wee bit like that, aren't they? Um, I, I was at a small group uh, last week, actually. Our small group, um, for the last couple of years, have done some really good really kind of open question discussion things and then we've gone on to something now that has got more of those kind of what I would call closed questions and the leader asked the question and there was silence you know because it's a kind of bit of an obvious answer and you kind of don't want to say not that answer because you come across as it's wrong we've got to move away from that friends we have got to provide space where people can express their questions People can express their doubts. The number of people that have said to me that they almost don't think they can be Christians because they've got questions, because they've got doubts. 
with the Bible? We've all got questions. If we haven't, then actually we're not reading the Bible well. We're coming to it, we're reading it, and we're seeing what we think is there. You see, if you think about it, if the Bible is really what we say it is, the Word of God, then it will always, always challenge our thinking. Why? Because you're not God and I'm not God. And he is so different to us. And sometimes, particularly within our evangelical community, I feel we, we feel like we've got everything sussed and sorted. And we don't allow the Spirit to take the Word of God and really speak it powerfully into our hearts and our minds. We don't allow it to raise questions for us. And this is the joy of community, where we can come together and be open and honest and express our questions, but also allow the Lord to speak. Ian, how am I doing on time? Because I've been looking at my watch. You want me to stop? I'm very happy to stop. Friends, let's change the statement. Best seller, least read, Let's change it to Best Seller Life Transformer.